G'day guys, I'm back. I've been playing with the Mirage F1EE for a few days and I think I've worked out the INS update system. So I thought I'd quickly run through it. Now I'm on the South Atlantic map here. I've got a waypoint that I've dropped onto a VOR station right there. I'm going to turn on and tune in my VOR here. should hear a beep in a minute. I'm going to switch the needle over to the VOR needle rather than radio navigation needle. That tiny little needle is now pointing at the VOR station. And I might just do a little bit of adjusting with the the uh, cap scroller just to make sure that I'm actually pointing my nose at it. So just a little bit off at the moment. There's not going to be much difference between my VOR needle and my radio navigation waypoint needle. So I'm not going to see much because I've started so close to the station. But that's okay, I think it's the idea that I'm trying to communicate here rather than showing a large difference. Okay, we're gradually getting closer. Might speed it up a little bit. Getting closer and I'm just touching up the, uh, the autopilot heading a little bit just to make sure that we're going as close to right over the top of that VOR station as we can. There's always going to be a little bit of slant range too, so don't be too worried if you can't get it right down to zero. And also, it's it's a it's not a perfectly precise system either. You get it pretty accurate, but you can't really expect that it's going to have like one meter accuracy like a GPS assisted system would have. Slowly counting down. Now in a moment I'm going to press the inverted T and the validate. So here we go just as we pass it now. For this next one I'm going to use a geographic location to update my INS. Now I've got a waypoint set on a tiny little point just in a, a lake just off to my right. So I'm going to roll in on it now. Yeah, you can see that little bit jutting out from the right side of that lake. There's a tiny little point just in front of us. And that's going to be my point that I'm going to use to update my INS. Now I find that with geographic point landmarks as INS update locations, I have a hard time getting any accuracy from being up high with places like this. Just because I can't see below me very well. Let me hit the update now, validate, and we're done. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.